Hey, hi guys, Gail here from Gail Bottom Online. I just uh, want to show you how to install, which is really, really simple, the Google Plus One plugin. And uh, it's of course now live and ready to go. And so really should have it up on your site. And so um, I'm just gonna show you how to do it really, really quickly. We'll go over to this site. And um, I've gone uh, plugins down here um, and I've gone add new. And all we need to type in here is Google, well, WordPress, here we go, WordPress Google plus one button. That's what I put in there. WordPress Google plus one button. And we'll go search for it and it'll find it for us. And then all we need to do is quickly install it. It's a very simple process. So um, I'm just using the top one and because uh, I like this one. But uh, you can use whichever one you want. And you'll remember, well, let's just uh, activate that. So all we did was install it, and then we just need to activate it. And then you'll see here, I chose this particular one, mainly because where it's sitting on my site. Um, you can get different ones, and I'll show you them now. So we'll head over to here, and we head right down to the bottom, almost, and we've got it right here. Google Plus One, and then we go Settings, it's really simple um, plugin to set up. I can assure you that you can do it very simply. And uh, so as soon as this comes up, we'll get it done and I'll show you how it looks. So here we go, there's a few choices. You can have this small one or this one or this one or this one, but I chose this one because as I say, it was just where it's sitting on my site, see? So when I had it the other way, it was just taking up too much room. So um, on this particular site that I've got here, I'm going to do the same. Now, I'm going to display the button on all pages or display the button on the front page. I'm just going to display it at the moment on the front page. Display it, it'll say before, after, or before and after. So usually I'm gonna, well, I like it before. Now here we have some code here, and this is depending on where you want it to sit on your site. So let's just leave it the way it is and we'll go save changes and we'll show you the way it looks uh, just as the um, standard or default here. And then what we'll do is we'll put the other one in and you can decide exactly how you want it. It's very simple. It's not gonna take you too much time to learn it. So let's go to the front of the page here. Okay, as you can see, it's put it this side here. So what I want to do is I really want it, well, maybe I want it on this side here because I'm going to add the Facebook share button as well. So you can leave it here or you can move it over here. So let's just go back and um, we will fix it up. We'll go back to the dashboard and we'll fix it up and put it on the other side. Okay, so here we're back in again and we just had it on that side. I'm gonna change it, oopsie, and just um, put it on the other side. Well, the other look, let's have a look at it. Go paste, don't forget to save it. And then we'll go and have a look and see what it looks like this time round. Okay, so there it is right there this time and all you have to do is just click on it and it's going to ask you to um, sign in to your account so that it can link, link it in for you. It's a bit like Facebook really, you have to be signed into Facebook to leave and press the, uh, like the share button here, you have to be link, um, signed into Facebook to be able to use it. And it's the same with the Google Plus One. So that's it, it's pretty simple, isn't it? So I hope that's been helpful to you, as many of people out there have been wondering how on earth you do it. So very simple process, have fun with it.